Yeah, the well, first time I saw the dueling uh, dinosaurs, Clayton had called me. I was still working at the Fort Peck Field Station. And he calls me up on the phone and said he found something really neat. World class, I think he said. And, uh, and so I said, cool, you know, I'll come out and check it out. So, uh, so I got out there and, and I couldn't see it. And I walked down this little hill and he had it all excavated anyway, the, the surface of it of the ceratopsian and I look over the hill and I can see the ceratopsian laid out and, and I had done studies on them so it just made me really excited because I had never seen seen one in the ground like that and so I walk down and walk all around it check out the head and, and the chest and the tail and the feet and told Clayton I was like wow this is just awesome you know, I couldn't believe uh, couldn't believe you found something like that and uh, he's like there's more and I'm like you know what else could there be and he pulls a tarp off the back end and and there's the nano tyrannus laying behind it, a theropod all curled up. And you know, for a guy who's been out in the field for years and years, and and I've seen some pretty neat discoveries. That just incredible. Never thought I'd see anything like that. So uh, um, I think I almost started crying that day. It was just it was just overwhelming. I believe that that the commercial end and the scientific end, you know, both contribute a lot um, to uh, to the learning of dinosaurs. I think someday if they all could work together, what, what we could know about dinosaurs, at least from our country, um, there's just so many specimens out there for those of us who are out hiking around and seeing these specimens just being eroded and washed away and, and not having the ability to collect them. Um, it just doesn't make any sense, you know, that, uh, that we can't work together and, and get them all, you know, get them all collected.